Yo, you know what's fucking brazy? Some some of y'all might use the word crazy. I use the word brazy. Uh, you know what's fucking brazy? Man, I've been watching these documentaries about these motherfuckers that stole like $14 million, $17 million. You know how much fucking goddamn time they got in prison? They got less time. Dick, man, those chicks were dope. They got less time than fucking people who, let me see, what did, what did people do that got them more time? What did people do? Like violent assaults and shit? You know what I'm saying? Like that? What else? What else? Nah, a lot of drug dealers I know, they do like 22, 30, 36, 34 months and shit. But look, 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 someone that sells, someone that sells $100 worth of dope to an undercover cop, to a fuzz, okay, to a fucking, um, a patrol officer, um, to the federales, the popo, the police, motherfuckers that sell thousand dollars to some undercovers some jump out boys okay the police the policia some motherfuckers who sell a quarter bird to the goddamn one times the one times of all motherfucking authorities. The one times, god damn it. Some niggas might say, god damn it. The, 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 the latter was a little bit more southern, right? God damn it. That was a little bit more redneck. Uh, god damn it. it. was a little bit more not so rednecky. But the fucking point is. You got niggas that do control buys, right? Sales and shit. Or they do the sales, the, po- the popos, the one times, the fuzz, the feds, the police. They do the control buys. And these niggas do whatever. 20 something months, 30 months, 40 months. It's rare that I hear that a nigga do 50 months, right? I've been watching these fucking documentaries on YouTube. One of them was about this dude from from Monroe, Washington State. Monroe fucking goddamn Washington State. This nigga did this fucking robbery. Was it 400,000? Some shit? He pepper sprayed the dude. Spritz, spritz. It was sophisticated. He spent months planning the shit. He paid... For people to come out on Craigslist and everything and work that day. Everyone wear blue, this, this, and that. He, I mean, when I when I watched the video, I gave him props for being for being innovative. I mean, I gotta say, like, you know, it ain't cool to be a criminal, even though I'm from a rap group called Criminal Alliance. I'm just saying for youngsters nowadays, for the world at large, it ain't cool to commit crimes. Even though I'm from a criminal organization. I'm just saying, back in the day, I I used to be an active criminal, but I'm inactive. I don't commit crimes. No, I don't. I monitor. Decided to be an IT geek, computer nerd, scientist, work with the U.S. government, apply my craft, try my hand at some new shit, helping out society, doing some shit for the greater good. But back in the day, I was in a gang. So the point is, is this, this fucking kid from Monroe, Washington, I give him props on some Ocean's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 type shit, 16, etc. <clears throat> but when I really tallied up everything that he did, I mean, it was slick, but it was like, he pepper sprayed the dude. Now, I'm just saying, don't commit bank robbery, don't steal money from banks, don't commit crime, fraud, theft, this, this, and that, armed robbery, unarmed robbery. 
robbery, fuck burglary, just don't. But when I watched the documentary, this nigga got away with four hundred thousand dollars or some shit. Four hundred fucking K. Four hundred motherfucking K. Monroe, Washington State, bank robbery. Dude was smart. He was a realtor, real estate agent. You know what I'm saying? He planned the shit out. You know what I'm saying? Here's how he fucked up. The vagrant dude with the dog and shit fucking wrote down his goddamn fucking motherfucking. I say fuck a lot and motherfuck a lot. The hobo slash vagrant, I don't know if he's really a hobo, but the dude that was pretending to sleep on the motherfucking streets, whether he was homeless or not, the vagrant ass nigga with the dog, probably they both smell like dog, no disrespect, but osmosis, this nigga, I get it, maybe living on the streets or not, wrote his goddamn fucking license plate number down. What a coincidence. I'm just saying, they live. Aliens. It's because he didn't cut the nigga in on the shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, What a homeless motherfucker writes down someone's license plate number unless that nigga is an alien, CIA, fucking FBI, counter intel, some deep black ops, Sam Fisher. What a homeless ass nigga says, you know, of all these cars out here, uh... Yeah, that one right there. I'm going to write that license plate number down. Uh, and when the feds come around, to eat up, um, some like, uh, I don't know, two years down the road, I'll certainly uh, remember that. Uh, yeah, that guy right there, Um, he's the one. I know you're looking for him, feds. That's why I took time to write this shit down. Because that nigga is a fed. Come on, cut the shit. Anyway, they busted, dude. But you know what, man? They gave dude like five years and check game. This other motherfucker kissed this chick one time. He got a feel. He got the feel off that shit. And stole 17 fucking million god damn fuck. For those of you who are sensitive, it's not anti-Christian. I just say god damn. I love God. Gosh darn fucking 17 motherfucking million dollars. Mother farting million dollars. They did like five years each. The only motherfucker that did more time was the dude that plotted to quote kill the dude that stole the 17 million dollars. I'm not going to ruin it for you. His name was David Gant. I saw that whole document. This shit was weird. It was crazy. So you steal 17 million fucking dollars and you do five years in prison. I mean, listen, I'm not a thief. I'm not a criminal. I used to be. But I'm just saying, back in the day, shit, 17 million fucking dollars for five years? I mean, man, what if it took you 25 fucking 30, 40, 50 years to fucking find me? Would that be worth it to me? Oh, well, let me think about it. I mean, come on, dude. The system don't even make any kind of sense. These niggas hijacked $17 million. Live the times of their lives. Got a slap on the wrist. Go to some phony, quote, air, quote, uh, federal prison golf course. Oh, my God. And then, and then, I I know niggas that come from the neighborhood who, I don't know, stole some cars and some shit, and they do like 50 months. 46 months, sold some hair on. I'm just saying, I mean, the system don't even make sense a lot of times, man. That's all he did, man. I mean, the little plot scale shit, plot this, 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 interval, you know, oceans, oceans this, whatever, you know, Houdini, 
whatever. Now you've seen it, now you didn't. Whatever that movie is called, it's pretty fresh. But I'm just saying, <laughs> Morgan Freeman, you know, part one and two, magic. <laughs> he's in a prison, but he's not, you know. He can, he can open prison doors because he's really, I don't know, magic. I'm just saying. I'm just fucking saying. I'm just saying. These niggas stole $17 million and they got like five years on the average. And you know they ain't even doing all that time, man. It's like, come on. They don't even care. And they're just reflecting upon the dough that they blew. Man, come on, man. Seventeen fucking milli rocking. Yeah, look it up. Don't take my word for it. How are they giving people more time for less than a bank robbery? Nigga, go out, shoot up some shit. Uh, see that gang there? They wear a different color than I wear. Ha <laughs> ha. Guess what that means? Locked and loaded. Bop, bop. Ba-da, 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 bop. Cops are like, you discharge a firearm in the city limits. Against another gang, that's gang injunction. And on top of it all, it was two seconds away from a drug-free zone. And we caught you with some bricks of, I don't know, chiclets and $50 in pennies. So you're going to go to prison for 10 years. But a nigga can fucking rob a bank for 17 motherfucking million dollars. Because some chick kissed him one time, and he felt a certain kind of way, even though he's married to some other person, and then the gang that uh came and picked up the money that he gave to them, gave him only $30,000? I'm just saying, this shit is weird. Weird numbers. Weird numbers. Wow! What kind of wacky verse, silly verse is this? I don't... Look, I don't condone thievery or crime or corruption or anything like that. I'm just saying, like, man, the numbers aren't adding up. Like, bank robbery, 17 million, five years. What if they only steal 2 million? Will they get 60 days? Because <laughs> that's kind of worth it. I'm, listen... Don't rob banks, but I'm just doing numbers, okay?